What's going on everyone? This is Wasim from the Tech Boys and this is going to be my um, review and walkthrough of iOS 6. This is the first beta release since Apple announced at WWDC. I'm going to go ahead and walk through some of the features and every time there's a new beta I'll go ahead and make another video so we can see if there's any changes from the next version. So I have it running on my iPhone 4S and my uh, third generation iPad. Um, I'll go ahead and put the iPhone to the side just because the screen is a lot bigger on the iPad and we can So you guys can clearly see See it. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit Alright, so here we have iOS 6 It looks basically the same. There's some new applications um, You can notice that there's a clock app now on the iPad um, Just looks just like the iPhones but bigger so you can have your world clock alarms stopwatch and a timer. So again, nothing too crazy. The big new change in iOS 6 is Maps. So this is a brand new Maps application built straight up by Apple. Uh, so it's not using Google Maps. And this is only the beta release of this map. So um, so far it's working really well. Um, it only crashed only about, I think just once or twice. Um, Overall, Prince to Zoom is extremely fast. Um, you can get free turn by turn directions on here. Um, if I want to search, and it crashed. So let's just open it again. All right, let's go look through the settings. So you're going to notice some changes right off the bat. Um, one thing I do like they added is they added the Bluetooth right on the main screen. So that's easy. Um, there's also the do not disturb. So that will. Um, basically not notify you if you get any text messages. They'll still come through, but it, your screen won't turn on. There won't be any sounds or vibrations. If we go into Notification Center, you can definitely see that there are some new widgets. There's the Share widget. Uh, everything else seems pretty standard through the general. If we go to Siri, Everything is the same uh, unless you're in a different country. You're gonna, you're gonna notice a lot of different languages has been added. Sounds you can see the Facebook and tweet sounds are there. And privacy. So if there's any applications that you have that are accessing your ca contacts, calendars, reminders, or photos, just tap on it and it will let you know. So you can see that Facebook is accessing my contacts. If I go to iCloud, um, everything seems standard. Uh, you can sync all your mail contacts over iCloud. Email is about the same. Notes, iMessage is about the same. FaceTime, you can now do it over 3G and 4G. So that's cool. And you can notice the Facebook and Twitter are in the settings. Now let's go into Safari. There are some uh, changes here. Um, you can see that there's an iCloud logo right at the top. If I tap on that, it's going to show me um, some sites I visited on my iPhone 4S. So I can continue where I left off pretty easily. And this is going to work with Mac's Mac OS Mountain Lion. So if you have a Mac, you can also do that with that device. Um, you can also, let's say I wanted to read this. Um, but I'm going to be going on an airport, so I want to save a few articles to read when there's no Wi-Fi on the plane. All I need to do is hit on this arrow, arrow button and just add to reading list. Then to easily go back to my reading list, all I have to go to is my bookmarks reading list. And it will automatically download to my device. Just hit on that. And you're basically going to have a web page downloaded on your iPad or iPhone. Of course, with your sharing, there is also Facebook, and that has been uh, the UI has been tweaked a little bit here. Next big thing is Siri. Siri is on the new iPad. Just like the iPhone, just press and hold. What's the weather outside? Looks like nice weather coming up through Sunday. Up to 86 degrees and partly sunny. When's the next Yankees game?
The Yankees. Braves game starts at 4.10 p.m. Alright, so let me know that. Who has the best RBI in baseball? Okay, let's take a look. Josh Hamilton leads the league with 61 runs batted in this season. Alright, so things like that. When is the next Lions game? I don't know why I said the Lions. Lions. Browns game is August 10th, 2012. Things like that. 30 p.m. So you can get player info, and this works across baseball, basketball, soccer, NHL. So a lot of different apps. Um, Siri also knows a lot more about restaurants. What's the closest sushi restaurant? I found five sushi restaurants. Four of them are fairly close to you. I've sorted them by distance. So you can see that they have rated them by our ratings on Yelp. If I tap on it, it's going to give me a lot more info, uh, such as reviews. And I can get the phone number, hours of operation, maps, and directions. And that is also a new feature in Siri and Maps, where you can just get free turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Get me directions to New York City. Getting directions to New York City. All right, so now we're going to be taking a look at the iPhone. Uh, definitely one of the first things you're going to notice is a new app. This is Passbook. If you didn't see the uh, WWDC uh, blog, um, that t Passbook is basically a app that can keep all your boarding passes, tickets, uh, store cards, and coupons all in one place. Currently in this beta, it doesn't seem like it's active because there aren't any third-party stores to offer these coupons and store cards. But I'm sure as it turns into beta 2 or even beta 3, um, things like Starbucks or the Apple Store will be able to pr provide these uh, coupons. Alright, uh, a few minor tweaks that you will notice if I go into the weather, um, it does seem like it's a new color scheme. So you can see um, a different color and the font is a little bit different as well as the uh, graphics on the icon is different. Let me pull down the notification tray. You can also see the, uh, the share widgets for Facebook and Twitter. Apple has also redesigned all their stores. So iTunes, the App Store, and the iBook Store all been redesigned. Um, so it looks completely different than the native app store we're used to. So if I go to Featured, you can see it's all different, um, but still very similar functionality. You can check your top apps, um, all your updates, you can search, and then there's a Genius button right in the middle. And the same with the iTunes Store. Yeah, I definitely do think it's a good change. Apple's uh, store definitely needed to be um, just a new fresh look. So it's I'm glad to see that on iOS 6.0. Again, you can see music, your movies, TV shows, your search bar, and more. So your downloads, purchases, and ping. Which ping, everyone knows it's a fail. So I wouldn't be surprised if Apple removed that eventually. Next, I want to show you guys the phone. There is a little uh, difference, uh, like the keypad is a different color. Um, your contacts can be integrated with Facebook as well. Other than that, everything seems okay. You also can FaceTime over Wi-Fi, like I said before. Right, so when you get a call, you also notice this uh, button. You just lift it up, and you can reply with the message or remind yourself. So go to reply with message. I can say, can't talk right now. I'll call you later or blah 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 and I can do my own custom or change it up whatever I like so if I wanted to say I'll call you later I'll do that it's gonna send that text message to my uh, friend all right so let's go back into maps I actually uh, just tested the maps with turn by turn navigation and it works pretty freaking good on this beta one on iOS 6 uh, one thing I do notice that um, I do use a lot on Google Maps is Street View um, I cannot find that feature on iOS Maps. 
but the 3D animations are really nice on here. You can do the same kind of, if we go to 3D mode, you can see the city of San Francisco, like how Apple showed, and like the flyover view. The flyover will only work on A5 devices, so that's the iPhone 4S, iPad 2, and the iPad uh, third generation. So turn-by-turn -turn navigation and flyover is not going to work on the iPhone 4 or any older devices. Alright, let's go into Safari. So here is Safari. Um, if we tap on the share button, we can see that we can share the web page to uh, email, Twitter, and Facebook. We can also add it to our reading list. If you go onto our bookmarks, I can view my iCloud tabs, which is featured on iOS 6 and Mac OS X Mountain Lion, as well as the offline reading, like I said before. I took some screenshots earlier to show the GPS navigation. So let me pull that up. So let's say you're using your GPS and you're in a different app. So in this example, I'm in my Facebook application. What happens is your GPS instructions is still going to show up on your, basically on your device. So even though you're, you could be uh, in your music player or any other application, you'll still get directions right on your phone. I'm going to go ahead and scroll, these, scroll through this for you guys. So this is on the home screen. Uh, still your directions show up right at the top. So that's really nice and elegant. Um, a really great feature that we don't get with any other device on the market. And this is basically how the turn-by-turn -turn directions is going to look. I mean, it's really easy to read. Um, it gives you... The instructions if you tap on the screen while you're on this page it will give you the ETA as well as additional information if you need it and then this is going to be in the lock screen so even if your iPhone turns off um, your direction is still going to show up and of course Siri will speak the directions as well Alright, photos has also been updated. If I want to share this photo over photo stream, I don't have to do it to myself. I can share it via photo stream and I can easily send it to someone. If I want to send it to my friend, just tap on their contact and it will be sent right to them. So that is a nice new feature as well. Alright, so in mail there is also VIP. So if you have a contact that you're always emailing and you just want to uh, see his emails in one area you can always VIP their address or their contact so you'll always be notified when their email comes in and it's really easy to find with VIP as well as refreshing your email is a lot of fun now <laughs> and if you guys didn't notice the color of the um, status bar actually changes based on the application you're in so it will, it will match um, with the uh, top banner so in this example it was blue if we go to we go to like calendar, it's also blue. Clock, it's black. And Safari is a different. Alright guys, this has been a walkthrough of iOS 6 beta 1. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about iOS 6 coming out? Um, expected date is in the fall. So that's just right in time with the next generation iPhone. Uh, let me know what you think um, in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll have a lot more videos coming up. Thank you.